Hey everybody, how you guys doing today? Happy Thursday. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and make a video talking about 2019 and getting ready uh, for the new year. As I stated in my post that I posted earlier, this is the first pop-up video of 2019. So I felt it was only fitting um, that I took the initiative and go ahead and start it uh, with our first video of the group EXP Elite. As always, make sure you guys uh, share this video with any other groups, any other friends that you know in the experiential marketing industry, anybody who is looking um, to begin a career and may need a source to uh, reference and to, to learn about the industry. This, the EXP Elite Group was built on the strength of all of the EXPs in the industry and it's a community where we work together and where we share our knowledge, our experience and our expertise in the industry. So as I always say, I am only as good as the people in the industry. So I want to make sure that this information and the resources is available to anyone in the experiential marketing industry. So make sure you guys go ahead, um, just like any of the information that you're hearing today, any comments, any questions, anything that you want me to go ahead and address um, in this video, make sure you leave a comment, you know, post a question and I'll be sure to work to get to those prior uh, to the end of this video. In addition, we are also um, going to cover, as I said before, three different things that you need to be on the lookout for to be a successful EXP in this upcoming year. So we're already into 2019. 2018 is over. Um, hopefully we all, you know, just took from 2018 our, uh, some life lessons. We learned a few things. We um, have been able to incorporate, you know, some principles and some new goals for this year moving forward. We are now three days into the new year. So it's not too late to go ahead and set those goals, set those new year's resolutions, create your own vision board and put those goals into place. So I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. I wanna go ahead and jump right into it and discuss the three things that you need to do as an EXP to set yourself up for this year. So let's go ahead and start with number one, revamping your resume, cleaning out your clutter and making sure that you create a resume and you're able to go through and highlight your expertise, highlight the experiences and all the events that you worked in 2018 is important, right? But you may be asking, how do you do so in a short resume, in a concise resume, which still allows clients, um, as well as experiential marketing and staff at agencies who may be looking to hire you for an event to tailor and to be able to see the extensive experience that you have um, executing different events within the industry. One way to do so is to clear out the clutter. So understand that you have to tailor your resume for the position or the job that you may be hiring, that you may be looking to actually um, be staffed and actually be confirmed for. When I began my career as an EXP, truth be told, you know, I had a customer service resume and I used the skills that I had in customer service and listed them on my resume. And that's what ultimately landed me my first opportunity as a brand ambassador. You know, from then I was able to tailor my resume based on the different events that I did um, and the opportunities that I was granted. And I took that and I altered my resume. But I will tell you right now in the industry, it's January, this is a slow period. Yes, we have slow periods in the industry. And I talk a lot about this in my book, You Do What? During this time, it is important during the slow period that you take the time, that you review your resume, that you incorporate any changes to your resume, that you go to all of the staffing agencies or the experiential marketing agencies who have job portals, who have places where you can upload your profile, that you take the time to go ahead and update your profile. Go ahead and take that headshot, that new headshot, get your headshot revised, create revise your resume and go ahead and tailor your resume based on the different opportunities that you had in 2018. As I've always stated before, and you guys already know from working with um, different agencies and having these pop-up interviews where experiential marketing agency owners such as Joe with Assist Marketing, 
you know, and then Mandy from Oxford Marketing and when we had Kate, Katie from Big Orange, they all came on and they talked about the importance of having a resume and Joe in particular, he honed in on the importance of keeping your resume short and to the point. You know, they do not like to account managers and staff at agencies do not like to read 10 to 5 to 20 page resumes. You know, they want to be able to have a short description and a synopsis of what you have done and how you will be of benefit when hired as an EXP to execute a event. So make sure that you take the time to clear out the clutter. If you worked a tremendous amount of events in 2018, look at your resume and say, hey, okay, I worked a lot of events as a brand ambassador. I worked a lot of events as a product specialist. I worked a lot of events as a team lead or a tour manager. How can I take and concise create a concise resume which highlights all of my experience and that's very easy um, go ahead and create multiple forms of your resume and within that only include the experience from that particular job or those jobs in which you were granted and you actually executed so a product specialist resume a brand ambassador resume a team lead tour manager resume yes some of the positions may coincide um, within each resume but it's important to separate the two so that when a account manager or a staff and coordinator is reviewing your resume, it speaks to the opportunity in which you are, are applying for. So declutter your resume and take the time to keep relevant information a top priority on your resume. During this time, with it being a slow season, I can attest to, and I'm still in the industry now executing an event, executing events as an EXP. So I would spend my Januarys, you know, my Decembers, my Januarys, and part of my Februarys taking the time to revamp my resume, to see where I can make improvements, to go ahead and update my actual talent logins and my portals within um, every agency that I had signed up for. Because as you guys know, there are over two to 300 agencies, staffing and experiential marketing agencies combined in which you can sign up for to actually obtain job opportunities. So being able to ma manage those um, different portals and those different databases that are out there, it can get a little hectic and overwhelming at times. I, myself, I have managed and found a way to do so, but truth be told, when I first began in the industry, I struggled because I had to remember, okay, who did I sign up with? Um, what do I need to change? What do I need to revamp? Okay, how can I improve my headshot here? How many headshots do they want? How many event photos do they want? So the list can be a little daunting and it can get crazy. So it's important that you guys, you know, just take the time. For me, I would spend about three to five hours a day during the slow period right now, just going through um, the different databases, the different portals and revamping my resume, revamping my headshots and creating valuable and including valuable information which would sell me for my next opportunity. I understand the struggle. I know what it's like to be an EXP, you know, right now during the slow times, trying to figure out, okay, when is my next opportunity gonna come up? When am I gonna have an opportunity to execute another event? How can I go ahead and save and ensure that I am setting myself up so that when April and May in the height of the season begins to um, start that I am in a position to obtain consistent opportunities. I've been there. I am still there and I'm still out here executing events. Only difference is a lot of times now my husband and I, we do events together, but I still execute events solo as a brand ambassador because I think it's important to still be in the field to get a pulse for the industry and to be able to provide and, and help EXPs along on their journey to success within the industry. So let me get back to what I was talking about, my first point, uh, revamping that resume, keeping your resume short and to the point, um, only having relevant information which applies to the opportunities which you are looking to, to obtain. And then also make sure your resume is a presentation of who you are. Make sure it represents you. You know, if you have an outgoing personality, if you are an individual who loves to engage with um, individuals, make sure that you talk and you highlight those 
um, skills within your resume. You know, one um, nugget piece of nugget advice I like to give is whenever you're setting up your resume in the beginning, go ahead, you know, put your contact information. Your LinkedIn profile is important, but also right um, below that, highlight your your top skills, the things that you excel at, the things that you um, or EXPs who have worked with you um, stated that you were great at, whether that's um, communicating adequate brand or product information, whether that's making sure that you're on time, make sure you highlight those things in a bullet point form. So when a account manager or staff or coordinator is looking at your resume, those skills will pop out and will be, you know, at the forefront when they begin to review your resume. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Um, I just want to wave at everybody. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Karma. Um, hey, Akisha. Um, she said, I'll be working on updating my resume and taking new pictures. Yes. Go ahead and do that. Taking the time. I promise you, if you just spend time revamping your resume and changing your resume and telling your resume, you will see results. And of course, I'm always here. So if you guys have any questions, if you need me to assist you, please reach out to me. I will get back to you um, within a 24 hour period. So don't worry about, you know, if you have questions or you're unsure of what to do and how to set up your resume, I am here to help you. Um, Karma stated it is also a great time to follow a logistics coordinator, uh, social media networks. Uh, we will definitely go ahead and make that happen, Karma. And thank you guys for um, just go ahead and thank you guys for being here. So I'm going to jump back into my top three points. Point number one was revamping your resume. Um, along with that, you also must understand that right now uh, we just wrapped up or a lot of the clients, which are brands, which are hired, which hire experiential marketing agencies um, to execute events, they just wrapped up Q4. Um, and from my experience working as a in market manager, a regional manager with Moet Hennessy, um, I started as a promotional model with them, but I also uh, moved up and I was able to obtain opportunities, like I said, as an in market and regional manager. And from there, I learned a lot about the brand client um, side of the experiential marketing industry. In Q4, um, they have the opportunity to go ahead and to prepare for the next year or the next um, season in which they will be executing experiential marketing events and decide whether or not a, a experiential marketing agency met all the goals that a brand or um, a client had for the year. In our case, it was uh, 2018 that just passed. So during this time, a lot of brands have in Q4, they have money left over um, to go ahead and um, use, and they have to use this money that they allocated to experiential marketing or marketing dollars, or else the money um, will run out and they will not be able to use it going into the next year. So oftentimes, a lot of um, experiential marketing agencies were bought on last minute to do experiential marketing programs and to execute different events uh, with, with the different brands because they had an excess of money left over. So moving into now as the new year, we're starting over a new quarter, which is Q1. And during this time, um, brands are, are starting to put together their budget for the new year for 2019 and they are deciding okay which experiential marketing agencies are we going to use to execute events did we like the agencies that we had yes last year if not what experiential marketing agency um, could get us the results that we need to see a better roi than we saw the previous year is investing in experiential marketing a great idea what other avenues should we explore so during this time experiential marketing agencies work to go ahead and put together something called an RFP or an RFQ, request for price or a request for, for quote. They put together um, experiential marketing campaigns and submit these by request to different um, brands to win their business for the upcoming year. So this is part of the reason why um, 2019, well, not just 2019 in general, why the beginning um, period of the year, which is, you know, end of December, around Christmas till about um, March, April, till we have this slow period because 
experiential marketing agencies are um, proposing RFPs and RFQs to win over the business of a potential brand or client. And then they are also awaiting the opportunity to see if they are awarded, you know, the actual business to execute the program. So with that being said, um, during this time as an EXP, this is your grind time. This is the time where a lot of the work that you do will go unnoticed, revamping your resume and taking time to go ahead and put those things into place to apply um, with different staffing agencies to go ahead and create those uh, portals and to be entered into those databases, to follow up with any um, contacts that you may have met um, on previous programs, to network, to go ahead and create your LinkedIn profile and to get out there and to um, talk to different experiential marketing professionals and to see you know what you need to do to obtain consistent opportunities it is a grind i am still grinding to this day is it easy no but it has been worth it you know in the past 10 years i have been able to create stability and um, have consistent income and learn how to budget how to save and to ensure that i am preparing for the months ahead so that leads me right into my next point to prepare yourself um, for success as an EXP in 2019. Finances. You have to plan, as I stated before, for the slow period. Separating your wants from your needs is important. The things, the essentials that you need um, to get you through the day to day operations and to just survive are the things that you need to make sure that you have your wants new pair of shoes, um, taking that trip, or even um, going out to eat all the time. You may have to sacrifice and wait until you are in a better position financially to go ahead and obtain those things and to be able to do so. Making sure that you look at your previous year and you set up a budget to ensure that you are able to not only um, stay on task with your goals, but you're able to create great spending habits and to create a spending regimen, which is in line with what goals you are trying to accomplish financially. At the end of every year, um, T and I, we take the time, we look at our financial statements, we look at our bank statements, we look at our expenses, we use an app called Expensify, which helps us you know, to keep um, account of all the expenses outgoing in our home and at the end of the year we take the time to put a budget to consolidate everything excuse me and to look at how much money we spent this year where did our money go how can we improve in the next year where can we save you know what were some things that we could sacrifice on for the next year to improve our financial situation I highly, highly encourage all of you to take the time to do this because if you are consistently working events, it can seem like, yeah, you know, I don't have to worry about this. I have money coming in all the time. I don't need to worry about doing budgets and managing my finances. That is the incorrect mentality to have because if you don't know where your money's going, chances are a lot of it may be wasted or not accounted for um, in your budgeting. So make sure that you are taking the time to set up different parameters for yourself. You know, I'm a finance major. I went to school for finance. We learned a lot of things, you know, in school. One thing I always remember is whenever you work an event to save 10% from that check and pay yourself first. That's the key thing to remember and that's a very important rule. Even if you're only working an event and you make $150, 10% of that is $15. Trust me, over time, if you're executing multiple events and you're putting that away in a savings account and you're not touching it, that money will add up. On the contrary, if you are eating out every night and you're not um, keeping track of your spending habits, when you go to the end of the year to look at how much money you spent, it adds up quickly and you you see where you could have saved money and where it would have been beneficial to put some parameters in place. So some of my favorite um, 
apps to download, Stash app and that and Digit. If you need help saving, if you need help incorporating smart saving and spending habits, um, definitely check out Stash app, Stash app and Digit. They'll help to get you on the right track. Um, I also read a lot of books on finance. Some of my favorite um, authors, Susie Orman, of course. I love David Batch, Smart Money, Smart Women, Finish Rich. That's one of my favorite books, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, you also have The Power of Broke. So just make sure you guys in this year you're taking steps to improve um, your financial situation and you're setting yourself up uh, for financial success this year. Um, also, retirement. We don't talk a lot about that in this industry, but we are independent contractors. A lot of us, if you don't, if you're not directly hired with a experiential marketing or staff at agency, you are working as an independent contractor. So how are you planning for your retirement? What steps are you putting in place to ensure that you can have a substantial amount of money saved up for retirement? You know, I have a Roth IRA that I started and you have until May of the um, next year. So May for me, May until 2019 to contribute into my Roth IRA. And you can contribute into this um, account up to $5,500 a year in this account. So if you're executing a tour um, for months on end, you can go ahead and start saving to make sure that you're contributing to your Roth IRA and that you're working with your financial advisor um, to ensure that you're um, allotting your funds and you're putting um, your funds in the necessary um, position to, to benefit you, you know, in your latter years of life. So retirement, making sure that you educate yourself, you read um, different books on financial literacy and financial success. You also separate your wants from your need and you incorporate great saving habits, you know, and Stash app and Digit are just a few of the apps that um, a lot of EXPs have found success with incorporating uh, while executing events. And lastly, taxes. Um, we're going to talk more about this in the next weeks. Um, I have a special guest coming on, Andre Johnson, Shamin Rivera. Uh, this is for you guys. You guys ask, and then a lot of the EXPs too, you know, with the new year, there are a lot of changes that the government has made with regards to taxes and to um, what you can write off and the things that you can and can't do anymore per our government. So we're going to tackle all of that, bring your questions, um, bring your comments with regards to this topic and this subject. Um, in the next weeks or so, when we have our pop-up live view, we're going to have someone who um, is certified in Texas who just finished her um, refresher course in her training with the IRS. She's been doing taxes now for over 10 years. So she's very well versed and she also worked as an EXP as well. So she's very well versed and experienced on this topic. So she's going to be with us um, to share her insight and her information. But making sure that you guys with, re with regards to taxes are um, on the lookout for your 1099s and your W-2s or your W-4s. A lot of the um, staffing agencies and experiential marketing agencies may be moving to a digital form, uh, platform and format where you'll be able to log in and actually print these out um, instead of having them mailed to your home. But nonetheless, just make sure that you are preparing um, to have your taxes done, that you meet with a certified accountant or someone who you trust um, to go ahead and guide you um, on ensuring that you do your taxes correctly and you are not audited by the IRS. By law, by law, excuse me, the IRS can audit you for up to seven years um, after you completed your taxes. So making sure that you have all of your 1099s, your W-2s, all of the expenses um, you want to write off, you have all of those things written out. And that you always um, reach out to those agencies. You know, if you're waiting for like one or two or three to 99 or W-2s and you still haven't received them, you know, reach out to them and ask them, hey, you know, when um, will you be sending out our 1099s or W-2s? Because I would like to go ahead on my taxes by mid-February, no later than the end of February at the latest. 
Um, you should have all your 1099s and your W-2s from any experiential marketing um, or staffing agencies in which you executed events for for the previous year. So making sure that you work with a tax um, account or a tax professional who is well versed in working with independent contractors because a lot may not know the things that you can and you can't write off if you've decided to take the route of um, having an LLC, making sure that that tax accountant is aware of that and they're able to then um, file the appropriate taxes to ensure that you are not audited and that every expense or deduction is accounted for both on your personal side and on the business side of your taxes. We take the time, T and I, we have an LLC. Uh, we convert it to having an LLC because we just saw the benefits of doing so um, years back. And we take the time to separate our business expenses from our personal um, expenses. We have budget sheets for those as well. And when we sit down with our accountant, you know, it's important and I want to advise you guys as well, explain to them what your goal is. If you don't want to owe the IRS, if you want to um, break even with the IRS, if you want to um, receive an um, amount or a certain return back, make sure you convey all of that information to your tax preparer so they know how to adjust and formulate the numbers accordingly um, to work in your favor. Now, it may not always work in your favor. You know, there may be times where you may have to pay taxes or you may owe taxes or in our favor, you know, we have to pay for health insurance as contractors. So we go to the healthcare.gov and we have to make sure that we account for every expense, health insurance, dental insurance, you know, all these things which are essential to us being able to not only sustain financially, but just within the experiential marketing industry. So take a note of these things, making sure that you are preparing for the year ahead and that you are setting yourself up. Oh, had a little bit of delay there. Sorry. But that you are setting yourself up um, in this new year and in every year for success as a EXP. If you need help, if you need assistance, please reach out. Um, if you have questions about your taxes, about the things that you need to implement, um, we will have a special guest on um, in the next weeks to discuss, you know, what you can, you can't write off the new changes for 2019 and moving forward and how you as an ind independent contractor can benefit, you know, when tax season comes around. But stay organized, EXPs. This is the time now, January with us having a slow season to go ahead and organize yourself, organize your funds, make sure that you stay on top and you're able to stay on top and sustain, you know, throughout the rest of the year. Don't get lost um, in the, the hustle and bustle of doing things that you neglect your finances or you neglect to write down, you know, the different agencies that you work for and to understand, you know, how much you uh, made and making sure that you, from a resume standpoint, that you take the time to revamp your resume, to incorporate, you know, your skills and to highlight your skills and the things that you have worked so hard to achieve within the industry. Over my um, 10 years of experience and still, you know, working and executing events, I have learned so much. I am still learning um, as I execute events and we um, are in the field and we're interacting with different EXPs, we find out different tools, different tactics, different things that work for them. And this is my platform. And I'm going to use that to share those experiences with you. But just keep in mind, every situation, every individual is different. What may work for me may not work for you. You know, being able to save may be hard for you right now because you may be working as an EXP and, and working paycheck to paycheck to just pay your bills. That's fine. And I'm here to meet you guys in the area and in the um, area. And how can I say it in the area, in the position that you are in right now? So there's help. There's resources. You guys are not out here alone. Um, and I'm here to assist you and to answer any questions you guys need. So make sure you guys give me a like, um, give me a heart, a smiley face um, for this video. And if there's anything that you want to see covered um, in the next weeks, 
make sure you definitely reach out to me and let me know. Our special guest today um, was actually in a client meeting and it ran over. So she reached out to me and let me know that she wouldn't be able to make it. But nonetheless, I'm going to have her on another pop up interview and I want to um, just highlight her and thank her for Shameen for her willingness to be on that video today. But I, I hope that the information and the tools that I have implemented and the tools that I talked about today will assist you guys in this upcoming year. Um, and I wish you much success while you're executing your events. Uh, make sure to remember those three P's. Stay professional, stay personable and always present yourself in a professional manner. Enjoy the rest of your week. Happy New Year, and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Later.